Every month, Netflix releases new movies from different genres and countries, and many of them are amazing in their quality, originality, and relevance. Hello and welcome to my Shadow Tavern, and in this issue I have the best new movies on Netflix. Make yourself comfortable and enjoy the viewing. Once Upon a Crime. This movie is an unusual mix of fairy tale and detective story in which the main characters are Little Red Riding Hood and Cinderella. They arrive at the Royal Ball, where they witness a mysterious murder. Now they have a little time left before midnight to find the murderer and uncover his motives. Along the way, they meet many characters from the world of fairy tales. An evil witch, a good fairy, a prince on a white horse, and a cruel king. The movie is directed by Yuichi Fukuda, who is known for his comedy films. He added a lot of humor and absurdity to the movie, making it a pair of classic fairy tales. The movie did not receive high praise from critics, but it became popular on Netflix, becoming one of the top 10 most watched movies in different countries. Viewers noted its originality, creativity, and entertainment value. Among its merits are witty dialogues, colorful costumes and sets, catchy songs, and unexpected plot twists. All in all, this is an entertaining movie that offers a fresh and interesting take on the fairy tale genre. Erengard, The Art of Seduction, a Danish historical film directed by Bill August based on the novel by Karen Blixen. The plot of the movie tells about the adventures of the Kazat, who calls himself a connoisseur of love. He is hired by the Grand Duchess, who wants to find a suitable wife for her son the prince. Kazat undertakes to teach the prince the art of seduction and romance, but his plans are ruined when one of his students becomes pregnant by the prince and unleashes a scandal. At the same time, Kazat himself falls in love with Erengard, a daring and skillful swordswoman who serves as a maid of honor at court. The movie is a funny and witty comedy, in which fantastic motifs are harmoniously combined with historical verisimilitude. Particular attention should be paid to the costumes, which are distinguished by brightness and saturation of colors. They contrast with the dim and gloomy interior of the castle, where most of the action takes place. The actors also played their roles at a high level. The movie received good reviews, among the merits noted original dialogues, playful atmosphere and romantic spark between the main characters. Spy Kids Armageddon is a reboot of the popular franchise that follows the adventures of super spy kids who save the world from villains. The main characters are Tony and Patty Tango Torres, the children of Terrence and Nora, who are the keepers of the Armageddon code. It is a powerful program that can hack into any electronic device. When the code falls into the hands of the king, an evil genius video game developer, he launches a virus that gives him complete control over all technology on the planet. Tony and Patty must undergo training, become spies, and use their new skills and gadgets to stop the king and free their parents. The movie is directed by Robert Rodriguez, who collaborated with his son Racer Max on the project. The director is known for his dynamic and entertaining movies made on a small budget. He spent a good part of his time working on the movie in his home studio using digital cameras and working extensively with chroma key. He even wrote the music himself and worked on the editing. The movie has a retro-futuristic style, with colorful costumes and sets, as well as many pop culture references and nods to the original movies. Spy Kids Armageddon is an entertaining and funny action comedy that is suitable for viewers of all ages. Love at First Sight is a romantic comedy based on the novel The Statistical Probability of Love at First Sight by Jennifer E. Smith. It stars Haley Lou Richardson and Ben Hardy as two strangers who meet by chance on a flight from New York to London. A spark develops between them, but upon arrival they lose each other in the crowd. The movie tells the story of how they try to find each other in a huge city, as well as how they face various problems and conflicts in their families. Vanessa Caswell, known for her work on My Mad Fat Diary and Little Women, directed the movie. The movie received many positive reviews from critics and viewers who praised the chemistry between the actors, the witty dialogue, and the heartwarming story. All in all, it is a charming and enjoyable romantic movie, almost perfect for fans of the genre, as well as for those who want to relax and lift their spirits. Heart of Stone is a thrilling spy action movie starring Gal Gadot as Rachel Stone, an agent of the secret peacekeeping organization, Charter. Her mission is to stop a hacker from stealing their most valuable and dangerous weapon, the heart, a quantum computer that can hack into any digital device and predict the future. Along the way, she meets an ally and a rival at the same time, Parker, an MI6 agent. Together, they travel around the world, fighting mercenaries and traitors. The movie is directed by Tom Harper, known for his work on the TV series Peaky Blinders. The screenplay was written by Greg Rucka and Alison Schroeder, based on a story by Rucka who created the character. The movie Heart of Stone received positive reviews for its action, cinematography, and music score. It amazes with stunning locations, realistic stunts, and impressive visual effects. Of course, the movie was not without criticism for its plot, dialogue, and characters, but in general, this is a fun and exciting movie that offers a lot of action and spectacle. You are so not invited to my bat mitzvah. This is a comedy drama from Netflix, based on the novel of the same name by Fiona Rosenblum. 
The lead roles are played by Sonny and Sadie Sandler, the real-life daughters of Adam Sandler, who also plays their father in the movie. The movie is about the friendship and rivalry between two friends, Stacy and Lydia, who are preparing for their bat mitzvahs. But everything changes when they both fall in love with the same popular guy, Andy, and start trying to ruin each other's parties. The movie is a story about teenagers dealing with issues such as puberty, peer pressure, family relationships, and finding oneself. The movie was released on Netflix on August 25th and received mixed reactions from critics and viewers. Some praised the film for its humor, heartwarming messages, and good acting by the cast, especially the Sandler family while others criticized the film for being cliched and unrealistic. The movie was directed by Sammy Cohen, who had already collaborated with Adam Sandler on his comedy Hubie Halloween. So, if you have seen that movie, as well as basically any movie with Sandler, you can imagine the style and atmosphere of the new project. ZOM 100 Bucket List of the Dead is a Japanese action movie based on the popular manga of the same name. The main character is Akira Tendo, a 24-year-old office worker who is dissatisfied with his life. He endures tedious work, can't confess his love to his colleague, Saori, and is afraid to take risks. But everything changes when he wakes up in a Tokyo overrun by zombies. Instead of giving up, he decides to live life to the fullest. He makes a list of 100 things he wants to do before he becomes one of them, and sets off on an adventure with his friend and a mysterious girl. Along the way, he meets other survivors and also battles hordes of hungry zombies. Some viewers praised it for its dark comedy, exciting action scenes, and poignant social commentary. Others were disappointed by the poor computer graphics that spoiled the movie's impression. This might be a problem with almost all low-budget live-action anime adaptations. ZOM 100 is a film that tries to combine humor and horror and asks the question, what would you do if you only had a few days to live? Killer Book Club is a horror movie based on the novel by Carlos Garcia Miranda who also wrote the screenplay. The plot centers on eight student friends who form a horror book club at their university. They are hiding a dark secret that they have sworn not to tell anyone, but someone knows their secret and wants revenge on them. The friends begin to receive a novel that describes their gruesome deaths at the hands of a killer clown who seems to be watching their every move. The movie is a slasher with an unexpected twist. The killer is a writer who uses his victims as material for his works. I should warn you, the movie surprises with an adult TVMA rating for scenes of violence, blood, profanity, and nudity. Killer Book Club has received mixed reviews. It contains elements of suspense and humor, but also some moments that we have already seen in films like Scream and I Know What You Did Last Summer. The movie does not claim to be a master piece, but it is entertaining and enjoyable enough for horror fans who want to experience fear and laughter. They Cloned Tyrone is a sci-fi mystery comedy that tells the story of three characters who find themselves embroiled in a government conspiracy involving cloning, mind control, and racism. Fontaine is a drug dealer who is killed by a rival but wakes up alive the next day. Slick Charles is a pimp who owes Fontaine money and has seen his corpse. Yo-Yo is a sex worker who reports to Slick and also witnesses Fontaine's death. Together, they begin to investigate the mystery and find a secret underground laboratory. The movie is directed by debutante Jewel Taylor, who presents the audience with an original an inventive story. The movie is an homage to the black exploitation genre of the 1970s, as well as classic science fiction films such as They Live and The Matrix. And yes, it obviously contains strong social overtones. The film balances humor, action, and intrigue, plus, interestingly enough, it delights in both retro and futuristic elements at the same time, creating a unique visual experience. The Outlaws is a Netflix original movie that combines action, comedy, and crime. The main character of the movie is Owen, a bank manager who plans to marry his girlfriend Parker. But things don't go according to plan when his bank is robbed by famous and elusive bandits. Owen is convinced that his girlfriend's parents, whom he has recently met, are hiding behind the masks, and he finds himself drawn into a crazy adventure when Parker is kidnapped and demands a ransom from her wealthy father. The movie The Outlaws does not pretend to be serious. It keeps viewers in suspense through a fast-paced plot, a absurd dialogue, and exciting action scenes. Personally, I was not impressed with the acting, but many reviewers also note the excellent chemistry and skill of the actors. Bird Box Barcelona is an expansion of the movie universe established in 2018's Bird Box, Based on the novel by Josh Mallerman, the plot follows Sebastian and his daughter Anna, who are trying to survive in a post-apocalyptic world where people go insane or kill themselves if they see mysterious creatures. The new installment shifts the setting to Barcelona and introduces new characters, locations, and dangers. The movie is directed and written by brothers Alex and David Pastor, who are known for their films in the science fiction and horror genres. 
The film was shot in different neighborhoods of Barcelona, and the actors speak Spanish, English, and German, highlighting the multiculturalism of the city and the characters. The movie's music was composed by Zeltia Montes, who created a tense and atmospheric soundtrack. Bird Box Barcelona deserves praise for its excellent camera work, acting, and originality. Personally, I did not notice any major inconsistencies or deviations from the original that some reviews have pointed out. On the contrary, I really enjoyed the dynamic development of this spin-off and the change of pace. Bird Box Barcelona shows new facets and points of view on the creatures. I recommend watching it to all fans of this franchise. Happiness for Beginners is a romantic comedy based on the novel of the same name by Catherine Center. The main character is Helen, a divorced teacher who decides to change her life and enrolls in a wilderness survival course. There she meets Jake, the best friend of her annoying younger brother. Together they go hiking on the scenic Appalachian Trail, where they have to overcome various obstacles and discover new feelings. Happiness for Beginners is a cozy and kind movie that will put you in a good mood and make you smile. It is a perfect choice for those who love rom-coms and nature, as well as for those who want to spend a lazy afternoon with an interesting viewing. The Murderer is a genre hybrid from Thailand that combines comedy, crime, mystery, and thriller. The movie follows a British man, Earl, who is suspected of murdering his Thai in-laws in his wife's home village. His wife Sai and her niece June are the only ones who can confirm his innocence, but their testimony contradicts the evidence. Local detective Nawat, who dislikes foreigners, tries to make sense of the case by interrogating everyone involved and recreating the events in his imagination. But his fantasies are often too far from reality, which creates amusing flashbacks that have nothing to do with the facts. The Murderer is a witty and exciting film that blends black humor with brutal violence. It is unusual, creative, and full of unexpected twists and turns. If you like movies that are not afraid to experiment and surprise the viewer, then this movie is for you. The movie Gold Brick is a French dramedy that tells the story of Daniel Sauveur, a disgruntled employee of a perfume factory. He decides to take revenge on his greedy employers, the Bruy family, who control the entire economy of the small town of Chartres. To do so, he and his childhood friend devise a cunning plan. They intend to steal bottles of the expensive Colin Brown fragrance and sell them on the black market. But what starts as revenge soon turns into a dangerous adventure for Daniel, who will have to face his own values, morals, and ambitions. The film is directed and co-written by Jeremy Rosan who has previously directed short films and music videos. This is his first feature film, in which he showcases his talent for directing and humor. The movie was shot in Chartres and Paris, and features beautiful landscapes of French architecture. Gold Brick is a fun and thrilling heist movie that combines elements of comedy and crime with anti-capitalist undertones. And that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Feel free to share this video with your friends, subscribe to the channel and click the buttons below the player. And see you next time!